Ready? Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here with my cousin Eugene, and today we're going to do a little Kouchi Sayanagi combination. Right? Uh, there's a very, very important thing that often gets overlooked, and I talk about hand position all the time. Uh, it is hand position. Right? We're going to talk about it a little bit more again. I know I've said it a million, million times, but it's very, very important. I can't stress the importance of it. And I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why. Right? So, Kouchi Sayanagi 50 50, right side versus right side situation. The lead leg is here. For me to just go on Sayanagi, might be very difficult, okay? Maybe if we circle here and turn, he's pinning this elbow to my hip, boom, and it makes it very difficult for me to turn into this arm, okay? Maybe that's the case. Uh, maybe he has a lot of control up top here, and I'm incapable of turning my head away uh, from Eugene to create that space. So, right side versus right side, I wanna create a natural advantage by rolling my shoulder and bringing this hand a little bit higher, okay? Once I have this situation here, Right now, this hand is not controlling my hand, so you see I can move my head as opposed to if it were higher. It's very difficult for me to move my head, right? So if I can roll the shoulders and bring it into this position, now I have much more of an advantage. So I could roll the shoulders, adjust, kochi, and then from this position, when I have this teed off stance, now I can enter into the sanagi here, okay? That's an option. Another option, 50-50, I use the kochi here, boom, Adjust the position here. Adjust the position, and from here I immediately go uh, drop Sayanagi, okay? So from this position, I have a lot of pressure. I'm gonna open and pull Eugene forward. Okay, I'm gonna use both hands to pull him forward. As his weight comes forward, I'm gonna drop in between and tuck my elbow to the far armpit, okay? Up, turn, elbow to the far, far armpit, and now I'm in great position to open this knee outward and finish my drop stand out, right? So let's look at it from the opposite angle. I could roll the shoulder, advantage, Kouchi, drop stand out, or 50-50, Kouchi, adjust, drop stand out. Right? So those are some of the two options. Now, when you're doing something like this and when you're trying to incorporate this stuff, into your judo, right, because you want to learn here, make this thing your own, you don't have to follow the exact prescriptive methods here, right? You could alternate sort of the pattern, right, which goes first, what goes second, as long as the elements are there. We have kouchi, drop sanagi, and positional advantage, right? So, we could make it look like we're going to go sanagi kouchi, adjust the gi, look for sanagi, okay? Make it look like I'm going Senagi, Kochi, adjust the gi, okay? Fake Senagi, okay, I fake Senagi, right? Looks like Senagi, I could return, cut the hand here. Once I have this, Kochi into Senagi, right? So I have a couple different options. It's very important if you're an advanced level player that you're constantly misdirecting Kochi Senagi, Kochi Senagi, Taking one way, going another direction, improving position, and then attacking your opponents in this sort of manner, right? So that's that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eugene, for being here. Thank you. Check out my judo videos, merch down below, all the things, like and subscribe, and thank you very much. All right, that's one.